I'm having a mommy makeover. I'm having a tummy tuck liposuction on my back and my flanks and I'm also having a breast lift and implants, saline implants. Perfect. Um, and what, what made you decide to do this surgery? Um, just not being happy with the way my body looks after having a baby and feeling I'm at that age where it's now or never. Okay. And are you nervous? And if so, what is what's Ooh, I haven't been nervous at all. I've just been excited the whole okay. time. <laughs> Good. That's awesome. And have you had any plastic surgery done before? Never. Okay, everybody. We're doing another mommy makeover today. This is a good one. Um, this young lady is going to get not only breast work, but some abdominal work or midsection work. Okay. So the way we're going to approach this is we're going to do the liposuction first. So we're going to liposuction her love handles and then we're going to turn her and liposuction her back. Okay. So we're going to get all this bra fat here and this fat above. And this is really that genetic fat which stays around. Um, you can tell she's not a big lady, but this is the genetic fat that just hangs out. Okay. Then I'm going to return. So liposuction of the abdomen or the flanks in the back will be first and then we'll turn our attention to the breast. Okay. Uh, when we're talking about the breast, we always talk about ptosis or droop. And what that basically is, it describes from where the inframemory fold is to the nipple areola complex. So you can see her nipple areola complex is below her fold. So she's got grade one, grade two ptosis. Okay, so the point is she would benefit of doing a breast lift. Now she has good gland. She has probably a C cup gland once you kind of get it up and get it in place. So the purpose of doing an implant in this young lady is just to give her shape um, to the breast. Uh, so we're not doing a very big implant, um, not very big profile or volume. Um, it's just going to be serve as a foundation to tuck that good gland. So we'll probably do a vertical incision, go down to the chest wall, get underneath the pectoralis muscle, put her implant in the ideal position, and then we'll do our pexing technique where we set her up and figure out where we get that gland up to. So that's where we want the gland off her chest wall below. So we'll do our breast lift mastopexy. Um, as well as her augmentation. And then we'll attempt, turn our attention to the abdominoplasty procedure. So as we've already discussed with the abdominoplasty procedure, lower incision will go up to the belly button, make an incision around the belly button stalk, keep it attached to the muscle layer below, and head all the way up to the sternum. We'll placate all the muscles in the midline, so tie those nice and tight due to her dehiscence, and then we'll excise all this extra skin off and make her nice and tight. We'll do some abdominal etching when we get done here in the fat, um, kind of give her a little midline of these ladder lines uh, before we close up the procedure, okay? So we're getting ready to get started and we will show you the progress when we get done. Okay, everybody, uh, we are about five to seven days post tummy tuck here. Uh, this young lady had a breast lift, augmentation, liposuction, and tummy tuck. And now it's time to take the drain out. So uh, we're still a big believer in the drain uh, because it drains a lot of fluid out of the patient for that first week. Some surgeons will do a drainless procedure, uh, but sometimes they have to go in there and stick you and drain the fluid out. So we're still a big believer in the drain. Um, it's very easy to take care of. Some people are really scared about it, but it's very easy to take care of. We sent you home with a video of how to do it. And now she's at the point that we need to take the drain out. It's a very painless procedure taking the drain out. Uh, we bring in, we've already numbed up the area. We've clipped a little stitch. I'll pull the drain out. It'll take two seconds and then we'll put a couple little stitches in there to help her heal a little bit better. So this is the JP drain. It's a double tube drain, so it'll go down both sections. Um, once again, we're about the five to seven day mark. It's less than 25 cc's over an eight hour period, and it's time to come out. Stitch has been pulled, and I say, okay, on three, we'll take this drain out, and there we go. One, two, three, it's already out. So there you go, drain is out. Uh, we will get her sutured up and get her on her way. Okay, everybody, we're at two weeks from a tummy tuck, breast aug lift, mastopexy, okay? So at the two week visit, she has already had the perineal taken off. We took that off just a few minutes ago. You can see how nice the incisions healed. Her three leaf clover is now a two leaf clover. So a little bit of bad luck is out of the way, but that's okay. You can see how nice her abdomen is. Um, you, she's etched like a Dickens here. You can see how good she is. 
um, breasts are off her chest wall below. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, once the perineal comes off, we're gonna try to get her two more weeks of the oxygen therapy before we go to scar therapy. So we'll see her this week, today, put the dressings on her for the oxygen, we'll bring her back next week, have her change the oxygen dressing, and then start scar therapy about that four to six weeks period. So once again, breast dog lift, tummy tuck with liposuction of the left handles in the back, a um, little bit of etching going on um, two weeks after surgery. So that's how the follow-up should go.